hello so we are back Tuesday and when you see this laptop this is a classic one you know this is so easy to be repaired you remember this kind of Acer's with the you remember this charger and you have the keyboard and power button it's nice it's a nice laptop 5000 series yeah keep in mind these uh, these models those are so easy to be fixed and most likely you will fix it whatever is there the motherboard is nice inside everything is fine yeah the problem with this one let's see plug in the charger we have no light here you can see no actually we do have light what and the light is flashing I haven't opened the laptop but it looks like it's taking power or not or, or we have a low battery but I can't see here the charging light but anyway anyway yeah how do we, we check if we have a charge this this is a very well known fault with a charging port problem and the hinge this hinge from this side yeah? how do we know we can know for sure if we have a charging uh, port problem very easy so on any charging port on any charging port you can check at least one pin to be a hundred percent that's good let's switch the multimeter the multimeter is on screen let's switch it to diode mode and pay attention one common track yeah, because on the, from the charger port you have two wires. One wire is common with other outside things like metals. That's ground. Yeah, so you can see we have ground here from the USB. You have ground, you know, the metal thing yeah, from the HDMI port. We have ground on VGA port, but it's not always ground. Yeah, so probably I will not check on the VGA port. So if you take the multimeter and you can keep the ground anywhere yeah like hdmi port and you check inside you should have ground you know you have two pins of ground one side here one side here and in the middle you have plus and you can see on the multimeter i get no reading even on this metal thingy from here i have no reading so i have no ground on the charging port so that's how you know 100% you have a charging port issue. Okay? Now pay attention. This is a good laptop. Check here. You remember when I told you the hinge? So the hinge has no problem. Most likely, when you'll open this laptop, the hinge will get broken. Yeah? Because it's quite an old laptop and the plastic probably is... Uh, is very fragile. It, it will break up when you'll open. So... Keep in mind when you make up the price for this job. Let's take out the battery. Let's open the laptop. I told you this is a nice one. Now one screw is missing there. Okay, it looks like the hard drive has been replaced before. So what do we know? The ground is missing from the from the charging port. The DVD drive. <coughs> so if it will be for you to buy a laptop and fix it, let's say I'm looking on eBay to buy and fix a laptop, buy a cheap faulty and fix it and sell it. Probably this is the best you can go with. Acer like this, dead, like not coming on, not charging. Most likely are charging for problem. You'll be surprised, but a lot of people they know so common faults, and they are buying uh, 
these kind of items from uh, from eBay. Okay, those are out. Now let's open the laptop. Hopefully we can open the laptop. The hinge is still good. That's good. That's perfect. Let's take out the keyboard. We have a few clumps uh, here. You know what? It's a pleasure to fix a laptop like this. Even if it's a motherboard fault. And it's not only this model, there are a few models, they look nearly the same. And uh, yeah, they're easy to be fixed. You have a touchpad cable, you have the power, power button cable. We have a few more screws here. was like two three days so hot outside but well, Sunday was like 31 degrees but even today is like 27 very hot now let's take out the front cover Plastic clips, possible we have a screw left somewhere, yes, we do have a screw. And the laptop is open. You see, everything is big inside, you have the super I.O. here. The processor power supply, another power supply, and if each power supply on the input has a big carbon resistor, you can see, or inductor. This, this, this. So I know for sure here on these points has to be 19. It's nice. It's 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 easy to be fixed. Okay, the hinge. I can't believe the hinge is still is still good. So no hinge snap when we open the laptop. Now the charging port. Let's have a look at the charging port. Let's see. That's the charging port. So, what do you think? Hmm? Here is supposed to be ground. And our ground wire, look where it is. I see that's the ground wire. Interesting. Now, take the rubber thing out. Okay. Let's uh, uh, remove the Let's solder the wires It's a quick easy job Quick and easy And we can do it like that We can solder the wires back You can straight after that everything with hot glue because the charging port is meant to be flexible here and it's that's okay that's not a bad idea but because the charging port is flexible the wires get broken
Let's wait for the solder error to get hot. <coughs> we can use some flux, some rosin. Rosin is good. I'm using 370 degrees on this solar iron, that should be okay. Yeah, so the solder, uh, the wires are soldered. We need a bit of solder even here. That's perfect. Now let's try and solder the wire. Yeah, so the wire is soldered there on the ground of the charging port. Now let's make that charging port. Let's use some hot glue and be sure <coughs> the job will not come back, you know. You know how it is, um, the customers they don't really understand how these things work and they see in a moving charging port and they think okay that should be, must be faulty. Or it's not supposed to be like that. That's the way. Yeah, it's not so. But it is supposed to be like that. Yeah. So you have a flexible charging port. That's fine because many times you'll, uh, I don't know, by mistake you'll, uh, you know, uh, get the cable out without taking it out straight. So having a, you know, a flexible charging port is a good thing. The charging port is on place. Let's test it. Let's test it. Plug the charger. If I remember, the first two pins are the power. So I plug the charger and we still have no lights. I'm not sure if it's normal or maybe because it's no battery inside. Let's see. First two pins. And yes. Oh, you can't see. Sorry. Yeah, and we have picture on the screen. Okay. So let me unplug the the charger, plug back the charger. You have first two pins from here, yeah? Because that's what the power button is doing. It's switching one signal to ground, okay? Shorting those pins, first two pins, and the laptop it is coming on. Easy. Okay. Now let's check the hinge to be sure it's not loose. It's not loose. No. Perfect. Next thing, let's uh, straight a little bit the charging port. And now it will have a nice bond with the top case. First, let's put the screws here. Here. I told you it's an easy job. Good. Now the rest of the screws. Now 
Now, don't forget the cables. Here you have the touchpad cable. Okay? And the power button cable. You know, I truly believe, like, six, seven, eight years ago, the laptops was uh, proper made, you know, compared with the laptops from these days. Okay, now the keyboard. Let's plug back the keyboard. Back on cliffs, yeah. Now the DVD drive. We have one screw here. DVD screw. I told you it's easy, like five minutes job. But we are like 16 minutes. Okay. 15 minutes, Joe. <coughs> okay. And one more screw, which probably is from here. And one from here. Good. Now we have the screws from here. Easy. Okay. And we have this plate, the back cover, which had only one screw, if I remember. We, will we can try and have a look for a second screw. Let's see. Let's find a screw. Good. Let's plug the battery. Plug the charger. And we have the charging light. Here you can see the orange light. Now pressing the power button. You have the blue light here on the button. And the laptop is coming on. Okay. What's, what's easy? This still has Windows 7 on it. Okay, so I'll stop this video now. This was an easy job, just, you know, something relaxing. Because I seen people there leaving comments, sorry, in three days past and I didn't see a video. It's easy, oh, we still have jobs. Probably I will do more videos, but not today. Today I have a short day, tomorrow I'll be off, probably Thursday. Okay. So thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Bye.